Oh my lord, the microphone wasn't on. You know, I forgot to probably turn on my microphone yesterday for the end of the show, too. It's been off that whole time. Oh, that's typical of me, making all kinds of mistakes, always. Yeah, good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be. Thank you for pointing out the fact that you couldn't hear me, which reminded, which... I had a sneezing cough or a coughing fit yesterday, and I turned my mic off, and I forgot to turn it back on. Oh. I deeply apologize for that, and um, yeah, that sucks. So I probably did the second half of my show without a microphone yesterday. And after saying good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be in time and space, Kenny is here for episode 97 of Sky Dude. We're heading to Belize. I forgot that Belize was down here first, and that Belize runs along the coast and then Guatemala is next to it on the uh, on the eastern on the western side and so yeah so we're going to be cutting through and cutting down through Belize today and I wanted to switch up to the Honda Jet today because again we have a lot of miles to cover and uh, I wanted to forego doing any of the Neo Fly job stuff today. Yesterday was painful enough. We had that crash. That was terribly expensive. Anyway, we have so much rain to cover today. And as we continue going south, that uh, I don't really kind of want to mess around at the moment with doing the jobs. I, I, you know, I guess it, it just depends on you, the viewer. If you get too bored moving that slow as we cover these vast distances. So I thought it would be better today if I just got into something a little bit zippier. Okay, yeah. Thank you again for reminding me that the uh that you couldn't hear me. Thank you. I wouldn't I would have never <laughs> I would have never known. I would have done this entire show without my mic on. I can't believe I forgot to turn the mic back on yesterday. Uh, it's always something with me, man. Always. It's probably the reason why I don't fly in real life. It's always something. I saw what you typed in there earlier that you and uh, Hans were doing some uh, DCS world. You were in the you were in the uh, SU twenty five and you were did you did some ship attack stuff. Yeah, I'll still think about getting into it. And getting back to it. Oh, so everything seems stable at the moment. I can't figure the auto throttle out. Auto throttle out. It does have an auto throttle. It seems right. We've got a speed select here on the dash, but no matter what I'm pressing, if I'm pressing AT here for usually, which is auto throttle. Um, you can dial it in, but we're doing 250 knots, and I know that we could probably go faster in this plane. Just right at the moment, I don't have enough information on the plane to say yes or no. Uh, I've got to gear up, got the flaps down, and, you know, that's where we're at. But we're already making great time and doing really well. We'll be in Belize and... Right at pretty much after we cross this southern island here, just off to our uh, port side, we're kind of coming into Belize, I believe. Not for sure when we get down over here, but we'll be there in just a moment. She is a wonderful little plane, and I, I do need to... I shouldn't even say she's a jet. Honda did great. I, can't, I think this thing is like a $5 million plane. Yikes. Uh, but, you know, if you had the money, sure. You know, if, uh, if money is no concern, yeah, yeah, this is probably the way to go. She is such a nice, nice plane. There's the Cirrus jet, too, which is also a very nice plane. Anyway, have you ever been to Belize? Not just you in general, Henning, but anybody, if anybody watching. Have you ever been to Belize? Let us know 
and what you thought about it and uh and let me turn the music back on it's supposed to have some of the most beautiful mm, beaches and little islands in the world Whoop. Yikes. Wrong button. If anything, since we don't have any clouds, is it still lagging for you, by the way? I, YouTube tells me I have an excellent connection today. But what I should turn up, since we're going to be flying over a lot, is I should turn up the water. my stats I still haven't dropped any frames or skipped any frames due to render lag or anything like that so everything is running fine on this side again YouTube says I have an excellent connection let's take a look at where you're sitting today Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd want to take those out, put some couches in. Got to have a little bar back here for some snacks and stuff. It's nice. You can see the turbines. Turbines. Looks like it's got some seat controls. That's nice. Still seems, you know, that seems like 1980s Honda carpet. So they didn't really splurge on the carpet. They got a discount on that 1980s Honda interior carpet. The weave. I don't see the seat belts. Drink holders. I don't see any U USB ports. I'd want some USB ports, some video screens. Oh, good. Oh, I understand. Again, take care of yourself first. Hope everything's going good. I hope your classes went well. stuff here. Engine bleeds. Are we in a fixed position? Almost seem to be. Seems like we're, we don't have throttle control. Hmm, Bubba. And it doesn't want me to move him up. Let's see here. Speed. Put in the auto throttle. Oh, so if you. Take it out of auto throttle. Now we can increase our speed. Whoa, we're already getting a red line. Aha. But we don't want to do that. All right, so let me turn auto throttle back on. Which 
Okay, so look at it's it's managing the throttle itself. I turn auto throttle back on. And it's adjusting the throttle. Good. <laughs> Good. I'm proud for you too. in the class. Very nice. Yep. Again, I want to deeply apologize. Thank you for hitting to uh, reminding me that the microphone was off. I I know that at one point during the live stream yesterday, I turned the microphone off because I was having a coughing fit. But I can't. I don't remember when in the live stream it was. Knowing me, it was probably halfway, and so a half of the live stream, I'm not talking. Well, that's too bad. I was really having a good time as we were finally making it to making it to Cozumel and to Cancun finally. So I was real happy last night. Finally got some land masses coming up. The water is nice and turquoise. What? A C? Hey, you know, I wouldn't do any better. If it's math, your friend has an F. Oh, no. Oh, I got to tell you, I would not do, I, I've never done well in math. Uh, I'm an, I'm an artist and that's not an excuse. It's just that my brain, my, my brain isn't wired for numbers. I always remember my dad saying growing up, he's like, don't you see the numbers in your head? I'm like, no, but I can. You know, I can, I can draw, you know, I can I see that kind of stuff in my head, but it's like, yeah, I just do all the numbers in my head and I'm like, I, my brain doesn't work that way, dad. I don't, I, I don't see the numbers. I think again, uh, if I could go back in time and do it over again, I would still try much harder, would try so much harder to be good at math. 
Maths. Yeah, still better than and than an F. I've always had very poor grades in maths. I'm surprised there's no development here that we can see. Why people would be running for America when they could run to stuff like this makes no sense to me. You don't have to worry about freezing to death. I mean, really, is is having a Walmart that important? Why you people aren't all running to Belize and other places makes no sense to me. Meteorology, you're taking, you're starting gliding lessons. You're starting gliding lessons on Sunday. Meteorology and the basics of flying are the subject. Wow. Meteor meteorology would be... Good to learn, and that's something I should probably spend more time doing myself. That's something I, at least I think I can get my head around and understand. But I couldn't tell you really one type of cloud from another. Uh, but considering we want to be good pilots and simulator pilots, yeah, it's probably a good area of study to uh, to know. Wow, this is very pretty. Wow, wow, it's the little tiny islands. The party on. Wonder what the economy is like down here. Navigation, I love it. I really enjoy doing all the steam gauge VOR lessons. Learning how to navigate VOR to VOR, fantastic stuff. NDBs. Learning how to use the proper uh, charts, using uh, the proper flight charts, all fantastic stuff I'm very proud to have learned. Learning how to use the GPS to some degree, very happy.
Wow, such shallow waters. They were able to see underneath the water. Wonder how far you could walk out. Wonder how deep that actually is. I imagine that the waters are warm enough right here. Maybe, I don't know. That you wouldn't have a lot of predator sharks. They usually don't like the warm water. Usually the cold waters. I know in Puerto Rico, the water on the southern half of the island usually is... The water they always said was too hot for predator sharks. so interesting you got so much I wonder if all the salt water is responsible well you got a lot of green out on that island then you get these big vast areas of like like dead and then these that patch right there giant patch of green Back into the cockpit and check our progress here. Okay, so we're still in Mexico. Still holding 3.5. 58 miles to our first waypoint. This has uh, got one of these really interesting uh, controls. This, this, these units. Okay, and there's the co-pilot unit. This is the pilot unit. But these drive the monitors up here. Normally, a lot of the functions are on these side buttons or in side panels. And with the Honda Jet, a lot of things are done here. There's your home button down here. Map settings, traffic, weather, direct to flight plan, procedure, charts. I don't think we have charts. Aircraft systems, checklists, utilities. You can link it to Simbrief. You can set your speed bugs, waypoint info, and nearest information. Let's look at our flight plan. There's our comm controls, audio and radios, direct to procedures, VNAV. We haven't really done too much messing around with VNAV, and I really should more. Uh, you can use the up and down arrow keys. The range on the map should be this, I want to say it's one of these, let's see. Nope, that's changing our frequency. There we go, there's range. And you can pan around, it seems. Oh no, that's changing menus.
Oh, you think this is con you think this is con uh, complicated? The MCDUs and the aircraft and the airplanes and the um, airliners. MCDUs are very different. But I'm so happy that I know how to use an airliner MCDU for the most part. Uh, I, I
really, really good. Oh, I wish I could play commercial music. I would really love to play the Red Hot and Blue soundtrack to their album today. Red Hot and Blue was a, an album that had a bunch of different artists, musicians like David Byrne of the Talking Heads, all singing songs about... I think they were all songs basically about Belize, written by Cole Porter. Anyway, all these tunes written by Cole Porter. All right, you have a great night. Get some rest. Take care. Let me raise my coffee. Cheers. Here's to your health, well-being, and prosperity. I like to throw up the Mr. Spock. Live long and prosper. All right, if you're just tuning in, Kenny's the sky, dude. Sorry about yesterday. I forgot to turn the microphone on. I was having a coughing fit yesterday during the show at some point. And I toggled the microphone off. And I forgot to toggle the microphone back on, so... Oops. That's typical. So today, I forgot that Belize was tucked up right up underneath Mexico. I kept saying yesterday, well, we're going to turn south and head into Guatemala. Well, got to go through Belize. Unless you want to go all the way back west and then south. Anyway, uh, it gives me an opportunity to, you know, look at all this beautiful water, all these beaches. It's supposed to be one of the most beautiful places on Earth. But I guess that's in the eye of the beholder, right? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Because I tell you, when I first thought about coming south and going into Mexico, I didn't think it was going to be that visually exciting, and boy, was I wrong. It was way more exciting visually than I thought. The landscape coming from Texas into Mexico, phenomenal. I mean, magical. So, you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I chose the Honda jet today. I'm skipping any, any and all Neofly jobs today because we have so much ground to cover. I was just planning on going to Mexico. My cross country was from Colorado Springs to Mexico and then we were gonna just turn around and go back. And I thought, you know, well, never really done a full South-South. Never been here before, never done any of this before. So might as well just keep going. But since I've decided to keep going, we've got a lot a lot to cover so I thought I'd just move us up to the Honda jet and expedite things we're doing 250 knots yeah man look at this water just so clear and turquoise Beautiful. So looking at our flight plan, we are here and Or range knob here. Man, we're making amazing time. Well, 
But this is Guatemala over here. Guatemala International, I believe. Getting ready to make our first turn. I believe we're entering Belize proper now. If not, just by the next waypoint, we should be fully in Belize. On Netflix this month, they've got some uh, 1970s, they're showcasing a lot of 1970s films. And I watched two really interesting films last night. One, the first one I'm... I'm forgetting the title of, it's Gene Hackman. And he plays a surveillance audio specialist. A guy who plants bugs and surveils people. For money and that was a trip and then I saw a movie with Warren Beatty called the parallax view or parallax another really interesting film Very pretty. All right, since things seem to be running a little bit better, I hate breaking the immersion to jump to one of these setting screens, but we are doing much better now. Let me try to bump the, the graphics way up. Everything seems stable.
Beautiful. Trying to declutter the, any of the little navigation things, try to make it a little bit more immersive. Something's still on. That's better. Don't call me love. Don't call me amore. Call me anything you want, I suppose. No, because I'm always flying around Colorado, I'd never load up a 
boats. Right? We never we never have boats that. Let's go ahead and try that today. Hopefully it doesn't slow the computer down too much like leisure boats. Tips and ferries. Hopefully that doesn't bring everything to a standstill. So maybe we'll catch some boats and time today listening to the electro swing panel seemed appropriate and really enjoying it actually it's going to have to be quite enjoyable how much level of detail I can get away with it without breaking the computer today. Uh-oh. 
Even pressing that, it's like, oh, are you sure you want to do this? Do you want to do that? No, not, not entirely. Even the computers ask me, what do you think I, do you think I have in me, an NVIDIA? Uh-uh. Let me reset my stats and see what it, what that does. So far, so good, man. have some flaps in but we don't Starting to get jungly again. I love it. to its maximum I'm um, filming the lag now
Well, I think some of the most interesting people on Twitter if these are fisheries or something I wonder what they're doing who knows what they got going on I'm over here too don't know
All right, starting to drop some frames now and bring things back down. That was maxed out. Making amazing time. We're going to be in Guatemala way before the end of the show. What a small little country. We're almost at the end of it. I should have titled this series Cross Countries. Yeah, Cross Countries. Hey, look at the time. It is time for the smoke break. It's a smoking flight. Smoke if you got him. This place sure looks like a lot of fun. I love all the little island parties you could have out there.
Is this our final turn in towards Guatemala? Yep. Wow. Amazing what another hundred knots an hour will do for you. And I'm not sure about elevations up ahead, but icy mountains, so probably should. Do an elevation change and get up a little bit. Let's go to nine and see how we do. Probably don't need that much height, but And she climbs. You know what I forgot to do, and I should do that now. Let me pause the music here. Bam, bam, ba -dam, bam. Uh, where is my Bush Talk radio? Did it bring it up today? Or it did. I'm not seeing it. Karate Kid, and they're gonna make another Karate Kid movie? Oh, really? Oh. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, Bush talk. Are logged in. Yes. Where we are. So we did miss a whole lot. Uh, so behind us, what is? Let's look at some of these points that we missed. The international airport. That's just. Altunha is the name given to the ruins of an ancient Mayan city in Belize, located in the Belize district about 50 kilometers north of Belize city and about 10 kilometers west of the shore of the Caribbean Sea. The site was first excavated in 1963 and was once home to 10,000 people covering more than 3.1 square miles. The former Mayan city contains two main plazas and around 13 different structures. Altunha has not been fully excavated and grass still grows between some of the stones, making Altunha feel lost in time. So we are here and we pass that back in here. Caracol is the name given to a large ancient Maya archaeological site located in what is now the Cayo district. That's over there. It is situated approximately 40 kilometers south of San Antunic and the town of San Ignacio Cayo, and 15 kilometers away from the Macal River. It rests on the Baca Plateau at an elevation of 500 meters above sea level, in the foothills of the Maya Mountains. Long thought to be a tertiary center, it is now known that the site was one of the most important regional political centers of the Maya lowlands during the Classic period. Caracol covered approximately 200 square kilometers, covering an area much larger than present-day Belize city and supported more than twice the modern city's population. Okay, what is just directly to the... 
port side. Punta de Manabic is a small peninsula that separates Amatique Bay from the Gulf of Honduras. It is located on Guatemala's east coast, some 20 kilometers north of Puerto Barrios. The peninsula was declared a wildlife reserve in 1999. The reserve is covered with tropical rain forests and mangrove forests. The higher parts of the peninsula have mahogany, Manilka SPP, Chrysophyllum SPP, Kapok, while Manicaria palms and Palisanga trees are found in swampy areas. There is a rich diversity of mollusks, crustaceans, fishes, amphibians, reptiles. Many species of seabirds are found in the reserve, from the orders of Charadriaforms, Pelicaniforms, Sicaniaforms. Mammals include Baird's tapir, howler monkey, spider monkey, collared peccary and white-lipped peccary. $27 million gas terminal. Why and, why not at Punta de Manabic? So, all of that out there. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. The castle of San Felipe de Lara is a Spanish colonial fort at the entrance to Lake Isabal in eastern Guatemala. Lake Isabal is connected with the Caribbean Sea via the Dulce River and El Golfete Lake. The fort was strategically situated at the narrowest point on the river. The Castillo de San Felipe was used by the Spanish for several centuries, during which time it was destroyed and looted several times by pirates. <laughs> the fort is listed on the UNESCO World Heritage Tentative List and is a popular regional tourist destination. Those darn pirates! Cibel, known as El Cibel in Spanish, is a classic period archaeological Out site here. of the Maya civilization located in the northern Petén department of Guatemala, about 100 kilometers SW of Tikal. It was the largest city in the Pasión River region. The site was occupied from the pre-classic period through to the terminal classic, with a significant hiatus. The principal phase of occupation dates to the late pre-classic, followed by a decline in the early classic. That's where the fort Seidel was over there. experienced a significant recovery in the terminal classic immediately prior to its complete abandonment, reaching its second peak from about 830 to 890, with a population estimated at 8 to 10, 000 people. The dates on the stele at Seibel are unusually late, with monuments still being dedicated after the classic Maya collapse had engulfed most of the Petén region. Many of Seibel's late monuments show artistic influence from central Mexico and from the Gulf Coast of Mexico. The early history of the site is lost due to the catastrophic defeat of the polity in AD 735 by the nearby Pitex Bachan Kingdom, with its capital at Dos Pilas, resulting in the destruction of its earlier sculpted monuments. Seibel was reduced to being a vassal state until the destruction of the Pitex Bachan Kingdom in the late 8th century AD. In AD 830, a new elite installed itself at the site with the arrival of Wachel Chatel from Yukonal to the east. This new arrival reinvigorated Seibel and allowed it to last to the dawn of the 10th century, well after the classic Maya collapse had engulfed most of the region. I don't know what the altitude on that is up ahead of us, but it has me a little concerned because so. Going to 13. All right, hang on to your seats. We are climbing.
Talk about making a great time today. Man, then you got those peaks out there. Doesn't look like we're going to be c crossing those, but man. Just in the House Oversight Committee has voted to hold Hunter Biden in contempt of Congress for ignoring a subpoena to testify. Funny, Republicans get arrested. Democrats can just walk out. Right? Democrats are really something, man. It's so hard to tell perspectives, and I didn't look at the charts. So hopefully we have enough altitude to clear everything. And we're probably almost there. Yeah. MGGT, let's look at the air traffic control. What does it say up here? Nine minutes. 
53 miles. So speaking with air traffic control, they have assigned us runway 20. Straight in runway 20. Da, 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 runway 20. E, hey, settle down. What is this thing? They don't have an ILS? ILS 2. See if we can get that one. Nope. So runway 20 it is. Arnav. Since I don't know what any of these mean yet without looking at flight charts, we'll just take vectors. Eight thousand feet. Can't see anything like that. Down to 8,000 feet, huh?
Hmm, you know what? I don't know if I set up my reverse throw. to come down from 250 knots. bit of flaps wow very very densely populated Nice stadium down there. Clear to land, runway 20. our gear down. Make sure we're full flaps. I'm 
110 knots. I've never been here before. Welcome to Guatemala. Hey, easy now. No stuttering when we're coming in for a landing, please. Obelisco or Monumento a Los Proceres de la Independencia is a monument in Guatemala City, Guatemala built in 1935 under dictator Jorge Ubico and designed by Rafael Perez de Leon. It commemorates the independence of Central America. The 18-meter high, 221-ton stone structure is situated on a huge roundabout called Plaza del Obelisco Obelisk Square, where the Avenida Reforma, Boulevard Los Proceres, Avenida Las Americas and Boulevard Liberación meet. The neoclassic Palacio de la Reforma once stood at this place until it was destroyed by the earthquakes of 1917 oh, and 1918. Stop. In 1950, under President Juan Jose Ayala, oh, no. the flame of liberty was installed by the column. She is not slowing down. No, come on. Oh my god. What the hell happened there? We came in, we were nice and slow. Under we're right at 110 knots, which is way slow. Oh my lord. Uh, it's always something. All right, we're gonna try that approach again and landing again. Um, I said right before, I don't think I have my.
blows my mind. It's ridiculous, man. Probably a lot more now. Okay. Let's check our controls. Okay. Our speed brake is here. And let's see if that'll toggle. Okay, speed brake will toggle. Now, let's tr toggle try our reverse thrust. Now, Does it not have a reverse thrust? Let me look it up real quick in the Google. It says the Honda Jet. Pause this. Two minutes after the hour. It says, yes, the Honda Jet, a light business jet manufactured by Honda Aircraft Air Company, is equipped with reverse thrust capabilities. All right. So let's check. Go to control setting, click on the pro flight yoke, da 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 da. Search for thrust, arm hold, throttle reverse. Select all, hold, auto, uh, throttle reverse. It just says assign a button to toggle reverse thrust in Microsoft Flight Simulator. After landing, press the button, the throttle will control the amount of reverse thrust you want. Well, one of them said use the on hold. The only thing I'm afraid of is I'm afraid I'm going to, you know, I don't know if it's toggled or not. Either way, you don't want, you know, I don't want to see the throttle when I'm pressing the uh, controls for it, the assign button, and it kicks off the speed brake. Okay, so the last thing I, I it might be going into reverse thrust, but at the moment I don't know how to determine that. With it. There's no indicator. And I don't see any indicator at the moment on the console as I'm pressing it anywhere to indicate that I'm in a reverse thrust. Full throttle reverse thrust. Let's try assigning the same button. break off so forward thrust yeah it's not going into reverse break
So I've got it all the way down to like the D throttle position or where you, where you consider shutting the engines off. And I'm trying to determine and I've got the throttle full forward now. Uh, all we can do is by the brakes and see if we start going back. I can't use the reverse thrust. I don't know if this thread already has mentioned, but I'd like to know how to set up my throttle for this aircraft. I can't use reverse thrust, thrust now. Released Honda Jet for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Definitely no reverse thrust on this aircraft. I have Logitech throttle quadrants, perfectly linear throttle setting. Sensitive sensitivity set to zero works perfectly for me. Well, it either does or does not. It says definitely no reverse thrust. I can't set it so my throttle idle matches this plane. Got a couple of flights where the current VNAV profile is stuck. I had no way to descend manually. Da -da 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 -da. I'm in a problem tracking the glide slope. Wondering if anyone else has seen this. The plane will float like crazy when trying to put it down on the runway. Uh, yeah, when we were making that landing there, it did not. It was just inches above the runway, but it just it forced the nose down. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, well, I guess we're going to just have to try it with speed brakes. So let's give that. Give that landing a shot again. All right. Something's going on here. It's really the first time I'm seeing red on the maps. These are usually areas of no fly. No fly zones. And they've got a few down here going on right now. Usually red is no fly zone. That's a lot. Anyway, back to what we're doing. All right. Let's start at the edge of town here.
may or may not have autopilot engaged. Damn you. Put us up high. Autopilot is... Not engaged now. Damn, just free followed. We're at 42,000. Okay. All right. We're at 42,000 feet. <laughs> uh, it's always something. The hell did it put us up so high? There, airborne, 8,095 feet. That's much better. Autopilot seems to be off. Gear seems to be down. All right, so the gear's down. Full flaps. That is too high. What is going on here? Yeah.
get me. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we're we're lagging really bad, so we turn everything back down again. There's too much going on. Too much atmosphere, clouds. It's trying to display too much. It's not giving us a clean touchdown. So much better. those bars were like crap. Like this red eye outline around them. I used to see a map. I don't know what that's all about. <clears throat> Trying it again. Much smoother now. Not lagging.
full speed break. Huh. I don't have any rudder command. That was much better landing, but watch. Now let me take the brake off. And I'm using full uh, left rudder and right rudder. And I've got no rudder control. Kind of. I mean, I'm, you can see it's turning to the left a little bit. I wonder if they want you to use nose wheel controls. Yeah. All right, so they want you to use different controllers for your wheels. This must be brakes, not wheels. Alright, so I've got nose wheels set to nose braking. So if you're having that problem, nose wheel steering. That well, should be the same as rudder. Something else I have to work on then.
was a man who wanted more A lonely heart broken and sore She loved the way he played with fire He was a lover, not a liar Hello, Mr. Gentleman, are you home? Do you lie awake and dream of something more? Is there nothing in this world you've been searching for? Hello, Mr. Man, open up your door a neat tune. an hour we could make it into Honduras San Salvador
They don't have an ILS. Well, we come all the way over here and then turn around. Yeah, that's weird. We come all the way out there and turn around and come back. Probably won't make it that far. Probably only make it this far. These damn boxes are too damn big. And they need to move them out of the way. They only have a VOR. Guatemala.
pretty. They want us up to 14,000 feet. That reminds me of James Bond, Thunderball. It's only 28 miles away. Well, that's fine. We're in the top of the hour anyway. That'll be good. Wind up the live stream. M E G A L.
11,000.
5,000 feet. I maintain seven thousand. No That's weird. It brought us down to five, and then brought us back to seven. Acting approach.
contact with inbound on the approach. Okay, we're clear to the runway. Turn off the autopilot. Well, after the turn. 992. Alrighty, autopilot off. Yeah, yeah, I know.
Okay, slow down. Not slowing down again. Son of a gun. It was last of the end. I don't know what happened that time. Came in perfectly slow, perfectly on. Speed brake deployed. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I don't know what went wrong that time. Maybe the speed brakes didn't deploy. Maybe the button was sticky. I wasn't looking, you know, I was pressing the right buttons. You know, they worked last time, just fine. Silly thing. Well, let's find out what happened that time. views in this thing at all, man. Okay. Speed brakes aren't engaged. Gear is down. Uh, we don't have full flap yet. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe the flaps didn't deploy all the way. Or I didn't deploy them all the way. Okay, let's check the flaps now. All the way. There we go, full flaps.
speed brakes. Tell you what, she doesn't got the best brakes, that's for sure. I can't believe we're still rolling. Oh well. We made it. I think we're in Honduras now. Damn nose stirring. Try to find, figure that out. Well, I didn't tell you which one it is. Interesting. down here now. So tomorrow, why don't we try to set something like this up? All the way back across. Maybe we'll do something like that tomorrow. I'll uh, look at Bush Talk and see if there's anything that might wow us. 
there is something here. It's got a star on it, but I don't know what. It's the airport. Where are we at? Let's go back to... Only 1,216. Hopefully it's tracking. I'll have to double check. That seems like yesterday though. Whatever. All right. I want to thank you for tuning in today. So thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Please like and subscribe. Sorry, I'm human. I make I have made some mistakes, and uh, well, I'm sure we'll continue to make mistakes. And I just beg your forgiveness. We can't all be perfect. Can't all be like you. Be perfect, perfect. Sorry about those landings, you know, but getting used to this uh, this airplane. Really would like to figure out that nose steering thing. Really not sure what's going on there. So tomorrow, yeah, we'll continue on our way south. We'll cut across Honduras, I guess. Check the maps and keep making our way south. Then we're going to need something. Either we cheat on our way back and just teleport back to Colorado where... Uh, you know, we'll need an airliner or something. Something that's going to go real fast. So, cut down our travel back time. Who knows where we're going to go. Playing it by ear at the moment. But thank you very much. I appreciate it. And um, what is tomorrow? Thursday? Yeah. Nothing should prevent me from being here at the moment. For my show tomorrow. All right. Have a great, great day, Captains. Have uh, good flying to you. 